Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for a quick build. Quick builds have changed slightly, they're not going to be right after build videos. Doesn't mean I won't make a build video for this champion, but it's just a quicker way to get a video out of a champion in case uh, anybody wants to see a new build for them. And what we're going to actually do to determine which one is going to be next, it's actually going to be based off of which comment with the most thumbs up of a champion name is down below. So if you want to see a certain quick build for a champion, um, go ahead and make that comment. And then most thumbs ups on that champion, that's the next quick build. So we're going to go ahead and do it that way for now. Let's go ahead and start off today by taking a look at Yasuo, and that's who this quick build is going to be about. First, we're going to cover his runes and his masteries. As for Yasuo's runes, what I've actually been doing is taking a little bit different path, and it kind of is because of the way I've been taking his build. I've actually been taking 14% crit chance. That's in the marks and in the quintessences. What that does is with his passive gives you 28% crit chance at level 1 right there. That's what we need. That's what we get. It's really nice. We're going to go ahead and team that up with some items early to try to give us an advantage advantage overall. If you don't want to take a crit page, that's fine. I just like it for an advantage early. You have to use it. If you want to go with something more standard with attack damage uh, marks and then attack damage or lifesteal quintessences, you can do that. Other than that, we're still taking armor in the seals and we're taking magic resist per level in the glyphs. As for the masteries page I've been taking, what I like to do is go with the 80 topper mid page. What you're going to do over there is 21 in the offensive tree and 9 in defense. 21 in the offensive tree. We're going to be going down picking up everything to help us out with attack damage, increase bonus attack damage, armor penetration, and uh, increased damage overall. A lot of very helpful things there. And then as for the defense, just those 9 points help us get a little bit beefier and just kind of help us out a little bit overall. As for Yasuo's abilities, at level 1, I typically put a point into my Q. A nice little bit of poke. Also helps farm those early minions in case you get somebody on top of your face. You can also start to stack those Qs, and every third one you can do, you know, that whirlwind in front of you. So you got, what you typically do is take that at level 1 and max that out first. That's what I like to do. At level 2, typically put a point into the sweeping belay. This allows you to dash around two targets. Um, can't dash to the same target um, right away, again, it has a short delay or time on it that you can do it. But I uh, typically like to max this out second. And then at level 3, I actually usually put another point into my queue. But eventually we'll put a point into our wind wall. We're going to max this out last. Very good for blocking enemy shots that are projectiles. So very nice there. And then as for your ultimate, put points into that at levels 6, 11, and 16. As for the build I've been trying out with Yasuo, what I like to do is at level 1 actually take those Brawler's Gloves. The 8% crit chance is doubled because of the passive, giving you 16% plus the 28 you already have in your runes if you take the crit page, meaning you have 44% crit chance at level 1. Kind of nice, considering that crit chance also does work on your Q ability, and then you just can crit people in the face. It's very nice. Anyways, it's good to make this work. Luckily, Brawler's Gloves do also build into the zeal which is very nice to get early as well you get a little bit more crit change get some attack speed and you get the movement speed now with movement speed coming from this item it actually puts you at about boots one so you typically can skip your boots one a little bit fairly early because you're already really fast so that's what we like to do now some of the other items i like to get on my first few trips is a, there's a few different ways depending on what you want to rush now if you want to go ahead and pick up a sheen very nice option we're going to be building that into the triforce in a second if you need some survivability vampire acceptor is always a nice choice um if you have enough and you want the damage get that bf sword you're going to be starting to hit them really hard especially with a bf sword and 44 percent crit chance wow you're gonna hurt a lot and then obviously if you want to pick up your boots then a little bit after that good idea what we're going to do with those mostly is like i said we're gonna go for that infinity edge lots of damage more crit strike going to be doubled because of that passive and our crits are going to deal more damage the trinity force because of the ability to use your your abilities so often and over just constantly really you're gonna be able to proc the sheen all the time very helpful for attacking it's going to help us out all over the board so the trinity force is in there and then for boots typically i've been taking a mid and merc treads seem to work out real nice it's good to pick up a little bit of magic resist and then the tenacity is very helpful. If you want other boots, go ahead and pick whatever one helps you against what the enemy team has to offer. As for a full build, it may look like this. You might have your Merc Treads, your Trinity Force, your Infinity Edge, the Ranuin's Omen for health and armor, because you need to start beefing up. You only need two damage items, really, um, to really get going. And then the Spirit Visage for even more health, so magic resist, and a little bit of cooldown reduction. Not a bad thing. I like to finish it off, though, with that Vampire Acceptor into a Ravenous Hydra. Like I said, your Q ability does on-hit effects, so, of course, the Ravenous Hydra will go off 
when using it as well. Now, the nice thing about this build is with the Trinity Force, the Infinity Edge, and that rune setup, you're at 98% crit chance with essentially two damage items early on in the game. 98% crit chance? Figure it out. Not a bad thing to have. If you want some options, though, you're not a fan of the Trinity Force and you got that zeal early, you can, in fact, pick up the Static Shiv. It's not a bad option. It does work out quite well, and you can build it a bit quicker because it is cheaper by quite a bit, and then you can go ahead and get to the Infinity Edge a little bit quicker. Um, another option, too, if you didn't want to go ahead and pick up something else, you go ahead and pick up a Guardian Angel if that's what's going to help you out the most, but that's kind of a key quick build to Yasuo. Go ahead and try that out. Works fairly well for me. I do kind of like the combinations behind it. Um, if you want to tweak it, obviously you can do that. But this is a nice guide to help you guys with a quick build for Yasuo. Like I said, if you want the next champion to be somebody you want, go ahead and list that champion down in the comments. The champion with the most thumbs ups will be done next. And other than that, I'll just see all of you guys in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and jump on to the Lucian here. Just going to pretty much be able to solo him. Not going to have to worry about it. Just going to take a massive swipe out of him right there. Finish him off. Gragas is going to get smart run off. Because, I mean, his damage, I can heal straight through that with those standard attacks, with the lifesteal, and with the hungering strikes. 